Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. In this episode, we're going to be wrapping up Bianco Hill. Hopefully with, uh, Episode 7, Shadow Mario on the... <gasps> oh, now that these Shadow Mario missions are actually, like, somewhat important. Because if you're not trying to 100% the game, every main mission, you actually have to clear the Shadow Mario stage to beat the game. So they're kind of important, and this is the whole reason we came to Bianco Hill. Ugh, get him! Ugh, stop him! Ugh. There's basically, like, no real, like, pattern to this or fast way to do it. Just keep spraying him with water. And it really doesn't make any sense, because he goes in the water, and he's like, Hey, I'm not even affected, because I'm Shadow Mario. Just, and where's he going? Ah, dang it. <laughs> dang. He does hit me very often. That is one thing I'm very bad about this game. Okay, just, just, just stop. Just stop. Okay, then we got him. Uh, uh, I'll never remember this. I'll never remember. No, I'll remember this. Yeah. I'm never gonna that voice. And hey, that was like the fastest shine sprite in the world. Yeah. Guess that's a good way to start off the episode. Episode number eight: Red Coins on the Lake. Does that rhyme? Does that rhyme? I want it to rhyme, but I do not think it does. And hey, what the heck is this? Another red coin mission? Man, well, this game is full of coins, like you said. What the crap? Yo! And yes, you are right, um, sir, that speaks in such manner. There are a lot of red coin missions, but to be frank, I like them. They're actually kind of fun. It's like this one. It's always mess up on it a tiny little bit, because that's not the easiest thing in the world. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so, red coins on the lake means there's coins on the lake. And look at these little guys, they're like, uh... Um, what are they called? Gosh, I have, I'm just, this is a brain fart day, like, in all honesty, I just, uh, I don't know. So, yeah, there's red coins, and hey, another one of those boxes! You think it'll have another nozzle in us? Uh, what? Have another nozzle in it for us, is what I was trying to say. And indeed, it does, but I messed up. Great, okay. <laughs> I know there's, like, some people out there that are the king and queen of... Super Mario Sunshine and be like, this guy's such a poser. This guy sucks, man. Well, you're right. I am suck and pose. Yeah. Okay, let's just shut up here. <laughs> I never claimed I was good at this game. I mean, I'm decent and I play it a lot, but not that great. All right, so another red coin. See, the red coins that are really the pain in this are the ones on top of these, like, giant, massive... Tight ropes, which are a pain in the butt to get. And that's why we need that nozzle, but I cannot get that nozzle. So we're gonna have to hustle. Come on, Mario. Quit derping. Quit derping. Well, Mario's not the one derping, I am. Okay, so let's get back up on these trees. Yeah, let's... I can't go up this way. I figured as much. Owie, quit throwing those darn coconuts on my head, you filthy p pokies. <laughs> All right. So I'm just gonna come up here. So there's like two kinds of pokies. It's kind of weird. There's like these ones and there's the blue ones. They have a different name? I know they have like, I mean, there's different species and everything. I don't know. So all right, enough lollygagging. We finally got <gasps> the rocket nozzle. One of the coolest nozzles ever. Now how it works is you gotta build up pressure in the rocket nozzle and then you'll blast up to extreme heights. Yes, I'm gonna nozzle demonstrate. Urgh! It's really stinking cool. It's really stinking awesome and I like it a whole bunch. But the problem is, it may not necessarily be the best option <laughs> for this <laughs> section. Because you kind of got to be accurate, and the hover nozzle kind of helps you a lot more to be accurate and land jumps correctly. But I won it, so I decided to get it. Alright, so this will make our fifth red coin. Come on, get it. Get, get. Why is my death perception so bad? Okay, so that's another red coin. You got to watch out for these electro dudes, because they will whittle your health down rather quickly if you're not paying attention actually never rather quickly just meteor they they hurt okay that's what I'm trying to get across I'm trying to cause some shit <laughs> cuz if you get knocked off these tight ropes it is not fun to get back all right so there's one over there and I believe uh, okay ooh ooh I said to not do that and I did it you shouldn't even listen to me cuz apparently I'm a dumbo and when you're a dumbo and playing super mario you can't be those two things in a row don't you know Bo 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 bo. That's a good show. I like that show. I'm like totally spot. Can I shut up about totally? <laughs> I know I'm just. I, I know I'm just irritating the entire totally spies fan club and all. I just I just cannot get over that. All right, and the last red coin is up there. Hmm. Trying to make a stupid unnecessary risk. Urgh! 
Arr, do not hit the red, I mean the blue coin. Yes, awesome, okay. That was like <laughs> so stupidly risky. And if I get this red coin, I would've done a nearly perfect run. Awesome, yes. Uh, and you can't see it, but shine spreads behind this little windmill where we're gonna learn the Song of Storms. Did I already make that joke? I think I did. I don't know, I've, <laughs> I've had the Song of Storms on my brain for a little while, I guess that's why. Keep referencing it, okay. And that is the last shine spread of Bianco Hills, for now. And what do I mean by for now, you may be wondering. Well, I don't know. I just like doing this LP a little bit different. So we're going to be going back to a couple places just because I don't know. I don't even have an exact reason. I just think it'll be kind of fun to mix things up. Gotta spray Princess Peach because she's a stinking moron. And all right, so now it's time to head over here and just check out what's going on. Okay. All right, I know I don't pay attention in class, and let's play class, but I'm pretty sure I know what's gonna happen next. All right, that just caught me off surprise. I don't stand, what? See, this game's unique. It just throws you with all these different, like, all these, it throws you a new hook, like, every day. It's like, whoa, I got something new for you. It's like, different. It's like, dude, you never seen this coming. It's a black poopy piranha. Uh, TV goes down three hits, just like every other poopy piranha. <gasps> or don't I? <laughs> No, he doesn't. All right, so yeah, just keep blasting the poopy piranha. Just keep blasting them. Just, just take care of them teeth. Do not get hit by those guys. But I kind of have a bad habit of doing that because I really don't care because it's kind of hard to die in this area. Yeah. And what happens when we defeat that poopy piranha? A new world is unlocked. Neato. And what is this place? Uh, I think it's Noki Harbor, but well, I've been ruined before with a variety of things. Mm. And this has another one of Shadow Mario's M's on it, so maybe his influence has affected this world as well. And I was right, Rico Harbor. Uh, the gloopy... what? Strikes back? The gloopy blooper? Breaks out? Oh, well, he needs some proactive or something. I mean, I've used that stuff. That stuff's pretty good. That's like the one infomercial I recommend. That you listen to. And we should tell that blooper to not break out, because you can just buy skincare medicine from... The comfort of your own home, thanks to infomercials. Yeah. Okay. So this this world is also another stinking beautiful one. Look at this place. Look at how complex this area is. Oh, you gotta love the GameCube. Uh, I don't know if I'd ever mentioned this before though. I never actually had like Super Mario Sunshine was not a part of my childhood. I only bought I bought this game like uh, it was two years ago when I got my Wii. And man, oh man, I'm so depressed. I totally missed out. <laughs> the only games I had for my, um... What, what games do I have for my GameCube? The first one I got, hands down, was uh, Melee. Because I love the first Smash Brothers so much. I was like, I gotta get this game, Mommy. And it was rated T. And she was like, you're gonna be one of them bad kids. You're gonna play them bad video games rated for teens when you're only 10 years old. What the heck is wrong with you? I like, know, Mom, it has, has Mario in it. How can it be bad? She wouldn't listen, so I had to get my grandma to do it for me. And she bought it, and I was like, yeah! But then I didn't know you had to have a stinking, like, uh, a memory card. That blew me away, because I was like, I was so sad. I was like, why isn't the game saving? No, I want to save Jigglypuff. Get that. Where am I going with this? I'm just rambling, I guess. And hey, look at this guy. What's he doing? Oh, dang. Look at this stinking loser. He's got poop all over his face. Or maybe that's lasagna, I don't know. This is the poopy piranha. Actually, it's not. It's the breakout blooper. And what you gotta do is, this is a pretty cool bot why it actually comes up a couple times. You gotta spray him in the face. That will irritate his allergies. And you gotta come around and smack on his little tentacle. And now his first two tentacles are gone. You can go in for the kill. As Patrick was saying. <laughs> and just pull on. Oh, this, oh, that would hurt so bad. And down he goes. JK, I fooled you! Let's do that again. And pretty much just rinse and repeat. You don't have to, it's common misconception. You don't actually have to take out his outermost tentacles. You just gotta take the front two. That's a little nice. Game throws you a ball or whatever. It throws you a bone, I guess is the correct term. Dang it, ah, crap. No, idiot! Uh, okay, grab the tentacle, just pull it, just pull it. Just, there you go. There you go. And well, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the boss battle. It's kind of disappointing, I know. But down he goes. Actually, up he goes. Whoa, he's going pretty, singing far. Huh. Well, down he goes. 
Maybe he'll take some of that pollution with him. Disgusting person. Is my timer right? No way this is already 10 minutes. We just started, didn't we? Uh, I guess. See more sunshine kind of does that for you. And guys, that is our 10th shine sprite. Holy cow. But 10 shine sprites is just not enough. Blooper Surfing Safari, episode number two. I'm gonna try and get exactly 12 shine sprites in this episode. That way we'll be 10% done with the game by the third episode. Holy cow, that's some stinking good progress, if you ask me. And yes, how was you already gotta do in this episode? It's actually kinda confusing if you never played the game before. You gotta come over here, and, th and this gentleman, this guy, he's just, just look at him. Oh, that's right, I'm the big daddy of blooper surfing. You like surfing? Hop on a blooper and give it a whirl. Oh, but one thing, big daddy waves all liability for accidents. Uh, now hang loose, bud. What a nice fellow. He's gonna he's gonna run out these bloopers just for us to have a good time. You gotta, you gotta love the people of Isle Delfino. Letting their prison inmates have some fun. Yeah, we're kind of still in jail after all. Blue coin, don't want. Urgh, coming here. For the secret. And I think I actually died, but the game didn't register that. Woohoo! You gotta go for a ride, bud! Go ahead and jump on the blooper you like best. Go on, show me some super blooper surfing. I want yourself a prize. And what he's talking about is a shine. Is a shine sprite. Oh gosh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this. And yes, this is blooper racing. Whoa! If you touch a wall, you're dead. If you touch anything, you're dead. So be careful. And you gotta be this in a time limit. So you gotta hustle. Now I don't know which blooper is honestly the best to do this. I just always pick the yellow one and seem to do all right. I don't know if we're gonna do this this time though, cause well I fell in the water at the beginning and lost two seconds. Tight turns? Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> His turns are a little tight there, uh, Mario. You and I knew. Got those brakes looked at, if you ask me. All right, there's the goal. Did we make it in time? Yes, we did it! Awesome! And there's another shine spread. Wow, I'm actually doing these kind of fast. Duh. It's cool. How many shines is that, though? Is that 12? No, that is 11, so we're going to go after another one. Yeah! Episode number three, the caged shine sprite. Ooh, spooky. Not really. Now this is another level I just absolutely love. There's a shine sprite, and it's in that cage. And this is a caged match, and you only got 10 million years to go get it. Oh, man. And the game kind of gives you a little hints. Like, hey, man, go this way. There's some, there's some nice little hints for you, buddy. Now, there's actually, like, a billion ways, like, how you can do this and just do it in whatever order you want, honestly. But this is the method I like to do it. Because, honestly, I think there's a little bit faster ways to get it. I'd have to check some videos. But, yeah, just come up here. Avoid that. Ick. What the crap was that? I just, like, let go of it. What the crap? I wasn't even hitting a button. That's stinking weird. Okay. So, just come up here. Um, come up to this grate. Okay, I'm gonna, apparently not going <laughs> to let go of the button this time. And just wait for the candy cane of deliciousness and holiday treats. And, uh, just wait. Just, oh, actually, we gotta turn around a little bit. Uh, whoop. I'm just gunning it. Whatever. And, oh, I can, I can hear the shine sprite. I want it. I need it. No, we gotta be patient. It's not Christmas yet. Can't open up your gifts. And break through this. Uh, why am I making so many Christmas puns? Maybe somebody's gonna watch this video when it's not the holidays and be utterly confused. But I'm an idiot and don't even care. About other people's time. I only care about the, the present day. What on earth am I rambling about now? Who the heck knows? But now we're on top of these um, catwalks, I think is the actual word for it. Uh, maybe not. And oh my, a blue coin. That does look delicious and all, ma'am, but I'm on a low carb diet. After all, and I'm pretty sure you can wall jump. Okay, sir, can you leave me alone? Thank you. Okay. Yeah, and in fact, you can wall jump on these. Would the coins lie to me? I don't think so. And Shine Sprite, I know you're fun to listen to and all, but I'm just gonna have to wait to get you. Can we do this? Can we do this? I've never done it this way, but I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah, what do you know? Alright, they're almost there. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh g- Okay. <laughs> getting pretty close here. Alright. Blast these bloopers. They didn't even see it coming. Bunch of idiots. Gotta be more vigilant when you're guarding stuff. Oh, I don't even want that. I don't- I would like the water. But at the same time, uh, I don't want that rocket nozzle because it's kind of useless right here. <laughs> and being able to have the hover nozzle 
and this particular section is a godsend. So let's okay. <laughs> okay, let's chill out, chill out, chill out. No oh, man, if I didn't do this in real life. Gosh, I would freak out. Fun fact, I am deathly afraid of heights, and if I ever have to go higher than one foot off the ground, I pass out. Not really, but I've always been kind of afraid of heights. What does that have to do with nothing? I don't know, but that's how you get Shine Sprite inside the cage. Alright. I think actually you could have done it a lot easier, but whatever. That's the way I like to do it. And guys, in this episode, we have 12 Shine Sprites now. I think we got six Shine Sprites in total in this part. And what? What's that thing? It uh, looks like another thing that we're going to have to clean up and then, you know. Why is it still on the screen? Oh, I have to press A. <laughs> but guys, thank you for watching this episode. We got a lot accomplished. We finished Bianco Hill and started on the second level, Rico Harbor. In the next part, hopefully we're going to clean up the remainder of Rico Harbor and go check out that third level. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next part.